What's going on, everybody? All right, let me just first address this, uh, the thing with AMC. When I call this the final week, people got to say, Judge Zern, this 29th, 30th, she's not going to issue the order that day. No. There's a lot of things that she needs to take into account, the whole thing. She's not gathering everything to make the decision at a later date. That later date could be next week on Thursday. What I'm saying that this is the last weekend or the last week of the AMC 8, the way we're going, is because there's no more postcards. There's no more mailing in your objections. There's no more trying to reach the judge to kind of show the, her this or her that. When, when a judge, whether it be state or federal, goes into the process of making their decision and writing their order and moving forward. Um, they don't take any more amicus briefs. They don't, you know, the friends of the court. Um, they basically close everything down and then they basically take a look at everything. And then their job with their legal secretary or clerk um, start doing the process of matching that decision to actual law, precedent cases, to justify their actions. When I say this was the last weekend slash last week, it's because this was Everything that we've done, everything we try to show and contact the judge and sending a letter and petitions and everything is done. The court stuff is over. We're waiting for a decision to come out. Now, that being said, if Judge Zern's decision states that she is not going to, you know, allow the settlement, the settlement has to be a higher number, or she says Abe should have never been transferred over voting rights, things in that capacity... And she gives a new a new date, okay, you know, for reconsideration, whatever. Now that's different because then she moved it forward. But as it stands right now, we're done. There's nothing that we can do at this point. You have this last week because once she moves forward, that's it. You know, it's funny because I'll just leave it in this capacity. In my world right now, I'm technically in a situation where obviously um, a judge is in decision mode. Damages, all kinds of stuff like that. I can't do nothing now. At the end of the day, the judge heard one side, heard my side. At the end of the day, gathered the evidence, had the hearings, the call-ins, and we did everything back and forth and even extended some time. But at the end of the day, the judge said thank you to both parties. And now the judge is deciding whatever he's going to decide. This is the same thing with AMC right now. It's just on the 29th slash 30th, that's when it's going to go down. There's no more special masters. That's over. That chick already made her decision and she recommended reverse split. She's bye-bye now. She's gone. Do you understand? That's what I'm trying to say. This is the final week in the capacity of what we've been going through. Moving forward, she could have a decision, I don't know, Wednesday. She could have it Monday morning for all I know. She could have it Friday. She could turn around and say that um, she's changing the lead plaintiff next week and new lead plaintiffs and she wants the postcards to be sent again and she wants the court to monitor it. Anything could happen. But this phase right now, this is over. And I think it's good that it's over because I think it's already getting people crazy. I have a friend that just got her postcard yesterday. Like, that don't even make any sense. How can you get a postcard yesterday? The judge is making a decision on Friday. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? This is over. It's done. Um, I hope that makes sense. And I hope Judge Jern says that she needs more time. Because then that's the case. Then we're sliding into the time where Jerome Powell has to come back with another interest rate height. And we're in the, we're in the fall of chicken apocalypse. Remember, children. July, August, and then it's chicken apocalypse. Get ready.